My name is Josh Hendricks, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through installing a certificate authority in an Active Directory domain services environment. Then I'll show you how to request a certificate for server authentication, which we'll use for recording server data encryption. There are multiple ways to go about generating certificates for recording server data encryption, and this video will demonstrate the ideal way to issue and use certificates using features integrated with Microsoft Windows and Active Directory. So let's get started by installing a certificate services role. Now that my root certificate authority is installed and the server has been restarted, I'll need to make sure my servers trust the new certificate authority. Since all my servers are in a domain, they should automatically trust the new certificate authority due to a policy getting pushed down from the domain controller. To ensure the certificate is pushed to my list of trusted root certificate authorities, I'll run a command to force an update. But first, we'll make sure that the certificate hasn't arrived yet. Open Managed. Computer certificates, trusted root certificate authorities, and I don't see my content certificate here yet. So now I'll type certutil-pulse, and that should trigger the auto-enrollment process. And if I refresh, here's my certificate. Now that my root certificate authority is installed and trusted, we can request server authentication certificates from the recording server. Now you'll see this list only shows computer certificates. It doesn't show web server or server authentication certificates. First, we need to make sure that our VMS servers have permission to access the web server template. So if I click Show All Templates, these are the different types of certificates we can issue. And web server is unavailable. So let's jump to our domain controller. From the domain controller, we can open up the Microsoft Management Console. Add the certificate templates snap in and go down to web server. So, right now, only admins have permission to enroll. We want to give permission to our servers. So, we can either add domain servers, authenticated domain computers. Uh, or we can add a specific group. I have already created a group under VMS servers, and this has my recording server and failover server in it. So I'm going to add VMS servers, and I'm just going to give enroll permissions. Now we'll jump back to our recording server. 
and we'll try again. All tasks, request a new certificate, and here's our web server. So to make sure that the certificate can be used by the recording server, we need to put the host name of the recording server uh, in the subject. And I'll also put in the DNS name under alternative name. and enroll. Okay, so we now have the certificate that we can use for our recording server service. It was issued by our root CA. There's a private key available on the server. And if we look at the details, the subject is the name of our recording server and enhanced key usage shows server authentication. So there's one more step to make sure that our recording server service can use this key, and that's to make sure that the service account has access to the private key. So I'm going to check which service account I'm using. So my recording server is using a service account called SVC Milestone and that user account isn't a local administrator. So we need to right click on our certificate, all tasks, manage private keys. We need to add that service account here. And by default, when you add an account here, it'll have full control. We only really need read. Okay. Let's set our recording server to use our new certificate. Okay, our recording server started and now all client connections will be encrypted. Let's make sure it works. I'll switch to the management server. Okay, right off the bat, you'll see in the local web server address field in the management client, we now have a padlock and it says it's encrypted. Adjust encryption settings via the system tray icon on the computer. So the communication is encrypted but we don't have any video. So let's troubleshoot this situation. So we know that the recording server is now requiring uh, SSL TLS communication on port 7563. And one of the reasons you can fail to see video in the client is if your client machine doesn't trust the certificate presented by the recording server. Let's check to see if our management server has received the root certificate authority certificate. So you'll notice that there's no Condon certificate listed here. Let's run the certutil pulse command again and see if that solves the problem. Refresh. There's our certificate, and there's our video.